What kind of a hurdle and how hard do you think it will be for the prosecution to create that nexus and to uh, to get that to the next level from just, you know, this is business finance, this is just financial records to actually convince a jury and convince the public that there was a broader conspiracy and that involved election fraud and that Trump was at the center of this to actually get a conviction on that. What are your thoughts? I mean, you worked as the uh, in the U.S. Attorney's Office for D.C. as a chief of the public correct corruption section. So from your experience mm -hmm. and analyzing what's happening, what do you think? I feel like it's it's a pretty strong case. The government's going to put on a pretty compelling case. So these documents cases like this, you know, the they're really hard for to defend against usually because the documents kind of speak for themselves, right? I mean, the the, the documents are false. I don't think there's, they're going to really be able to dispute that they were false, although it sounds like they'll try. You know, they're, they're going to try to suggest that they were actually paying Michael Cohen for real legal services and there was nothing false about them. But I think that's, you know, the, the, the approach the defense has taken, at least based on their opening, is really aggressive. It's sort of, you know, these weren't false and everybody else is lying and everybody's just out to get the president. Instead of something maybe a little more nuanced, which could have been, well, he didn't want his family to find out about this. So, yes, he, you know, paid to have the stories, um, you know, uh, bought and, and suppressed. But it wasn't about the campaign. It was about personal embarrassment in his family. And it's kind of a natural thing, you know, try to kind of downplay it that way without necessarily saying everybody's lying. Um, but that's the approach they've taken. So I think that combined with the strength of the government's case is going to be uh, pretty, pretty compelling. Um, you know, Michael Cohen, of course, kind of the star witness has a lot of baggage, but there will be a lot of things to back up everything he says, including Pecker's testimony, you know, already. Um, so the jury's not going to have to take just Michael Cohen's word for anything. You know, everything he says is going to be backed up by other witnesses and by the documents. And I think when you put it all together, it's going to be pretty, pretty strong case.